And I'ma say some shit that, like, this is documented. You know, I got a TED talk. I forgave my brother's killer. And I'm saying it to say this. Nigga that killed my brother. My, my brother died in my grandma's arms. In that fucking house that we grew up in. Nigga shot my brother. He ran to the fucking... He ran to the house. He died in Nanny Hall when she opened the door. So I'm telling you this some real shit, man. If, if I ain't let that shit go, I won't be right here today. With every head bowed and every heart humble. Good evening, America, and welcome to New November Presents. Look one time for the one time, talking about all wild, all crazy. This is your host. Let me get adjusted. I cannot stress this enough. Them niggas ain't your niggas. That bitch ain't your bitch. Your friends ain't your friends. Your dogs ain't your dogs. Nigga. Dirk had this man with him everywhere. Everywhere? Hey, Dirk, can I come? Sure. Everywhere. Little Dirk right now, if you don't know, is fighting federal charges on a murder for hire. You know what's murder for hire, Is he? That means motherfucker he don't like. He paid another motherfucker to take that nigga out. Is he gone, is he? Mm-hmm. Now, the man whom his name, I don't even fucking know. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I tried to do my due diligence best I could. Don't know this nigga. Now, I do know he's an OTF member. He's a part of the OTF uh, umbrella. And and that I, I do know that he decided to become federal foreman years ago and put on that wire. Now, he didn't just tell. Mm-mm. Nah, nah, telling is too easy. This motherfucker. This motherfucker went undercover. 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 As an F. As an FBI informant. Wearing a wire. What's a wire? Is he? We not two streets. We don't understand. A wire meaning there was a recording, monitoring, listening device attached to that motherfucker underneath his clothes. Oh my god. Yo, yo. Peep this, right? Somebody you know you don't tell no crime to. You don't tell no crime to at all. Your grandma, for instance. If you heard your grandma was wearing a wire, you'd be sick. You'd be like, huh? What? You ain't even tell her nothing. What if the nigga you told everything was wearing the wire? That's what Durkio is looking at right now. Now, for those who have been living under a bridge, some years back, a rapper named Quando Rondo had an associate named Lil Tim. Lil Tim put the shot rack. Uh, the Chirac Boogeyman himself, King Von, the rest. All right? Everybody said, Dirk need to slide for Von. Dirk need to slide for Von. Dirk's not going to personally slide for Von. That's not, it's not going to, he can't do that. He's too big. But what Dirk Cannon did, maybe allegedly, what Dirk allegedly did, was he put a hit out on the motherfucker who, who on the motherfucker's friend who killed King Von. So if, if this makes sense, all right, let me make it make sense for you. Dirk and King Von are cousins. Quando Rondo and Lil Pab are cousins. Lil Pab got smoked because Von got smoked. Eye for an eye kind of thing. It's really easy to piece together. But Dirk! We all understand, like, the pain, you know? We get, street niggas get it? What you think we don't want to go? <laughs> Dirt, you feel me? Of course we get it. But you got to think, ooh. You got to think long and hard about this type shit. No diddy. I mean, you can't just go out there and do this. You can't just go, hey, can you go uh, uh, tap that nigga on the shoulder and put him down? No, you can't. It's gotta be, I don't tell you how to do it, but it can't be done like that. It can't be in recent memory where I'm like, oh yeah, ain't you beefing with? That can't be like that. It gotta be like, damn, who, who, who was he beefing with? Niggas gotta rack their brain like, damn, who was?
fuzzy, but it gotta be. Statue of limitations to sniff that dirt. Let let it air out first. Von 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 Bones not even showing. Rest in peace. And you, you hear me? We, as a people, gotta do better. You can't, don't send no motherfucking street nigga to do no job like this anyway. You wanna know why you don't send a street nigga to do a job like this? Because that street nigga got shit to lose. You hear me? When the cops find out what he has to fucking lose, they're gonna dangle it on him. No diddy. Once they dangle that shit in front of him, like, you gonna tell me or am I gonna have to do this? He gonna do that thing that you don't want him to do. After he do that, your ass go into motherfucking jail so he can get a lighter sentence. Stay woke, oldest trick in the book. Stay away from these niggas. Next time, and it won't be a next time, hire a motherfucking police like Biggie and Pop. Hold on, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's for the next episode. Thank y'all for listening, man. I'm out. He's so down for the hood, he ignore me.